Hey there, I'm Meg, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create custom Instagram highlights covers like these for free in a cloud-based design software known as Canva. So what you're going to do is create your Canva account on canva.com, and once you log in, you'll be brought here. Now, if you need help with creating your Canva account, I have linked to a video tutorial down below. Okay, so now that you're here, you're going to click the create a design button and you're either going to type in Instagram story or select Instagram story from the drop down. Now I'm going to show you two different types of Instagram highlights covers. And these are mine. So this is what I use now, which is the icon on a color background. It's more simple. When I had my photography profile, I had a picture in the background of text. So I'm gonna show you both of these. We're gonna start with the icon on the color background because it's simple. So first you're going to click on your canvas and you're going to change the color. If you have your brand colors already input in Canva, it makes it super easy. So I'm gonna click purple, but if you don't, totally fine. You'll click on new color and you'll type in or copy the hex code. So before we continue, I like to think very strategically. So going back to Instagram, you'll notice that all of my brand colors are included. And if you dig a little more deeply, you'll find that I categorize. So everything green is photography related. Anything blue is life related. Anything purple is marketing tips, that kind of thing related. And then orange is what I used specifically for my mumbles, which were Instagram story videos that I recorded every day for a while. Now I do Megabug Mondays a few times a month, but I wanted to keep my mumbles up there kind of as an archive. Okay, so back to the main program. Oh, and always get in the habit of naming your file so that way you can find it later. So you can change it to Instagram highlights covers or whatever would help you remember it. So I'm going to change. Okay. Alrighty. So now you are going to add your icons. So think reflectively. So for example, on my Instagram story life, I chose a Volkswagen Beetle because my brand is Miss Megabug, named after my name, Meg and my bug. And then cats is obviously cats. So because I'm a crazy cat lady, we're gonna go with cat. So you'll click on elements in the left sidebar here, and you're going to type in cat or whatever icon you're looking for. And always select one that is a single color. Colored graphics, multi-tone graphics don't show up well, especially since it's a teeny tiny thumbnail. So you'll choose your icon. You can make it a bit bigger and make sure you drag it until you see that purple center line and then the purple horizontal. So you'll wanna see the horizontal and the vertical line. That means that you have it aligned center and you can click the color to change it. Now also note when you're hovering over graphics, many of them are free. Uh, some of them are pro, which means they are included if you pay for the pro plan, which last I checked, I think it's about $100, $130 a year. Totally worth it. I will be making a video on why I use Canva Pro later on. And some icons, though I'm not seeing any here, will have something like a price tag icon. And what that means is that you would pay, I believe it's a dollar in order to use that icon. But I'm thinking Canva's getting away from that and going into Pro. So if you don't have Canva Pro, try to find a free one. So that is your Instagram highlight cover. Super easy. Now we're going to do the next method. So you're going to click the plus, which is add a page. You're going to change the color back to white. You don't have to do that. It's, you don't have to do that. It's just one of those things that I like to do because your photo is going to cover it. Now you have a couple of options. You can either upload a photo from your computer or you can search Canva's stock photo library. And same as with the elements, some of these are free. Most of them are pro. So let's say we're going to do 
travel. Let's look up palm tree because I don't know why, but I feel like most people equate tropical spaces with travel. So don't click on the photo. Instead, what you're going to do is you're going to drag the photo in. Whoop! I just had it. Just lost it. There we go. So when you drag the photo in, it saves you time having to adjust the size of the photo to fit the screen. So then what we're going to do is we are going to head on over to text, add a heading. We're going to type in travel. And here you can change the font. You can change the size. You can also type in boom. And we're going to drag that to the middle. And if you want to add the brackets, like what I have here, I do those separately. So you're going to click add heading again, and then you're going to type in the brackets. Oops, I like the, the straight edge brackets. Now, I like to adjust the size by moving the corners until you get the height of the bracket that you want. So you know what, I think I might, yeah, I think I'm going to make this squeak bigger. Okay. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to change the font of this because we want a nice thin bracket. There we go. Okay, so it's still a bit taller than I want. Mm, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's try it like this. And then you're going to hit, whoops, did I accidentally click delete? My bad. You're going to click space a few times and just keep kind of going back and forth with this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, and remember to drag everything in the middle. And um, I want to move the text, but I, I can't move the text without moving this, so I'm gonna, gonna scoot this out of the way and move the text first. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna move this. Alrighty, now, whoops, for some reason that is just not, come on. Oh, I see what it's doing. See, it's not lining up the middle of the bracket, so you have to kind of eyeball it. All right. So it is kind of difficult to see the text on the background of the photo. So if that's the case, what you can do, you'll click on Elements, and you're going to type in Square. Make sure you use Square because you have a lot more flexibility in working with a square than a rectangle, and I do have a whole video on that which I'll link to down below in case you're curious. So you're going to drag that. Position it behind your text, but make sure it's still in front of your photo. And we're going to change the color to gray. And then we're going to click this icon, which is the transparency. And we're going to adjust. And I think that looks pretty snazzy. So once you get your Instagram highlights covers all set, you're going to download them as a PNG and you're going to get them on your phone. Now, if you have an iPhone, you can do the, if you have an iPhone and a MacBook, you can do the AirDrop. What I usually do is Dropbox. So I would add these files to Dropbox and then download them on my phone from the Dropbox app. So I am going to meet you over on Instagram and show you how to upload these Instagram highlights covers. Now, before I head on over to Instagram, if you are really worried about the sizing of your graphics, you want to make sure that they fit in the Instagram highlights photo circle, I will be making a template for both of these that you can download them down below. So instead of starting from scratch, you'll basically get this template and you can swap out your icons, your colors, your photos as you see fit. Okay, so I will meet you over in Instagram. So here we are in Instagram and I'm gonna show you how to update your highlight covers in two ways. First, we're going to start with established highlights. So what you're gonna do is hover over the highlight you wanna edit Click Edit Highlight, and then the top blue Edit Cover, and make sure that you downloaded 
your highlight covers to your camera roll and you're going to click the little image icon to the left of the photos and you'll see that I had downloaded both of those highlight covers that we just created and I have the last one selected so we're just gonna go with that we're gonna click done and you can see a preview here and you can um, drag your finger your two fingers together and apart to adjust the crop and the size and then once you get it to where you like it you're going to click done in this case I'm gonna click cancel and then cancel and let's say you want to create a brand new highlight you're going to go all the way to the end and click new which was that plus I get excited to go a little fast <laughs> and then you can see all of your recent highlights so you'd select the ones that you want to go into this new highlight you're going to click next and then you're going to change the name and then edit cover just like we did last time and it's automatically going to pull up the pictures from this highlight but we're going to click on that little photo thumbnail choose our graphic adjust click done done and then you would click add but in this case I don't want to add that highlight because I already have a cat highlight so there you have it. That is how you create custom Instagram highlight cover graphics in Canva for free. If you would like to learn even more about Instagram, how to optimize your account, how to get more followers, how to get more customers via Instagram, check out my Instagram insight course. It takes less than an hour. I've linked to it down below to learn even more about Canva, how to get set up, how to use it, and all of the different graphics you can make. Check out my create with Canva course, which also takes less than an hour. Okay. I will see you in the next video.